uh, general filth. <laughs> We've paid off the car. What do we got here? What is, what's going on? T51's on the trailer. What does that mean? So, I think, look how cool it looks on the slots. I think we have reached the end of our story with the TE51. Uh, I've been trying to get my buddy John to take it off my hands. Um, basically, since I got it. So, uh, finally worked it out. We're going to trade John the TE51 on these slots. Basically a good running project, but who knows where she's actually at still on, you know, being finished. Uh, he has a similar condition, fairly known, reliable uh, car that is kind of just, it's there-ish. It's, it's kind of a project. Uh, and we're going to trade this thing for that thing, and we'll bring home a new project car we'll see if we can't fiddle around with and uh you know turn it into something else so that's where we're at t51 that'd be gone what a unit so here she is uh i think it's a 1989 toyota corolla station wagon um, you know, nothing special. She was a real base model when she was new and uh, therefore came carbureted even in 1989, which is fairly late. Um, so I think it had a blown head gasket or it needed a cylinder head, something along those lines, um, you know. And uh, well, what better time than to... Uh, Put a dual overhead cam, 4AG cylinder head on the 4A FE, or I guess F, because, you know, carbureted. So yeah, it is a dual cam 4A F G C, because it's carbureted. So yeah, um, neat little ride. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but I, uh, I kind of want it, and... Um, now we have it. <sighs> Can I tell you, these weeks just keep getting shorter and shorter and freaking shorter. And the Tuesdays come, Wednesdays come, and you just don't have another video every week. How do these guys do this? Whew. Anywho, so, uh, well, I guess we got this new AE92. And, um, well, we got to figure out what we're going to do with it. Does it run? Does it drive? Does it start? Does it stop? Does it steer? Why is it so ugly? Uh, so I guess, real quick, we'll just jump in the old girl. I'm kind of thirsty. Nothing yummy to drink at the house. So we're going to run to the fuel station. Get us a sip of something cold and sweet. I guess we'll go over uh, plans thoughts the inside the outside the engine bay uh the whatnots of the uh the vehicle so let's ride Yo. <laughs> all right into the plush uh actually uh this is an mx73 cressida seat in the driver's seat not sure why it's here but uh i mean it makes sense it's very similar color and it is immensely more comfortable than the stock Corolla seats. Sits a bit high though. Anywho, so we got our fuel pumps running like crazy in there. Two of them. Uh, she is carbureted. Uh, and I didn't get the old pat the gas, pull the choke, tap your head, rip your belly. Uh, instructions from the previous owner. Thanks, John. All right. So I've had the gas twice, crank the key, nothing, pat the gas twice more, and she seems to fire up pretty good. Uh, I don't believe this car has a choke. Um, and 
and uh, yeah, so we'll let this uh, DCOE warm up a toast, a, a toast, a touch, a, a tickle, and then uh, see if we can't limp this baby down the road a little bit. As any vehicle you might get from John, I know my car, Lewis, uh, this thing is completely out of gasoline. He also didn't tell me how to open the gas door. That little lever got her all propped up, and uh, that didn't work. Had to go in through the hatch. So we'll uh, top her off with our gas can that we got laying around here before we hit the road. Yeah. Good I mean, just gave her first and second up through about 6,800 RPM, which is well into the factory tachometer's red line. She's kind of peppy, zippy little bugger. I hope regular unleaded was enough. Maybe should have did, uh, you know, some a little more octane. Probably not, we're fine. So, let's look at it. <sighs> Can't go wrong with the, uh, the Tolly of the Peace Tees, you know, they're super cheap. Diabetes. Anywho. Here's what we're working with. I mean, come on. It's, it's pretty cool. Got these extremely ugly 13 inch wheels on it. And uh, wow, 155, 80, 13. And I don't think she'll really do a burnout. Got the two-tone down here with the, the dirt. She's already lowered on some kind of really cheap Chinese coilovers. And um, she's got quite a few little nicks and, and knacks couple patty wax over here she's got the real humdinger um oops yeah so uh pretty cool graphics you know back here in the hatch tons of stuff so uh pretty excited about the clear turn signal lenses uh we got coffee that sounds like bolts uh the etc power button from the automatic transmission that's cool uh, air filter that might work. Got, uh, tail lights. Probably need one of those. And, um, you know, a random assortment of other junk. Got a flywheel. Apparently the flywheel in this car is hot spotted. And, uh, therefore she kind of glazed and wants to slip a bit. So we might have to put that flywheel in here. Clean things up inside it's got well marble mystery oil that's pretty cool stuff we got a clutch alignment tool uh, and an ashtray um you know any good car guy drives around with a spare timing belt in their car i don't know what this is for but it looks pretty cool okay you know not bad Came with a spare chrome coil. Uh, so, you know, that's not for this car, but, you know, could fix one of these crappy Datsuns we kept buying. What do we got over here? We got the Manuel windows. Let's see right through them. Mm -hmm. They got some uh, prior indiscrepancies, we'll say, on this door. We're missing our trim. That's unfortunate. As you can see this side, we've completed the two-tone. Even has some really cool 80s graphics back here. Dang. I'm an artist. So, this actually was, uh, I believe, originally not equipped with a passenger side view mirror um had a blanking plate so that's an upgrade and you know just this fender is she's kind of hecked somebody tried to roll it by losing the wheel it looks like you'll have that on these 90s jobs all right up here we've got some squirrel snacks maybe we won't clean the windshield because it's absolutely destroyed. Let's pop 
pop the old hood and see what we got that well we haven't been in come on let's sit down so in the driver's seat what do we got we've got an annoying beeper get rid, get rid of that and um general filth uh general filth <laughs> we've paid off the car the dashboard it's intact for the most part uh head unit that um that function's pretty good. The speakers sound terrible. Down here, we got some uh, Halloween decorations already up. Yep, and some Coca-Cola spray on the on the trim. Lego Stormtrooper. Uh, definitely not questionable wiring. We've got a almost engine management wide band. That didn't turn on when we were driving does have a gauge cluster that spins all the way up to 8,000 RPM and then the red line starts at like 63. We're up in there. I think John said he read it to like 72. I don't know. We'll need to verify before we blow this turd up. Uh, yep, you'll, you'll see now that the gas gauge is slightly above E because we put maybe two gallons in it. We got this uh, wooden flat faced Grant five hole steering wheel. Uh, this was originally an auto magic car. We've got this cool, uh, worn out, disgusting brown shift knob that's a bit sticky. And uh, the old... Don't want to break that. Cup holders. Yeah. So we're sitting in a Cressida seat. It's kind of nice. Oh! You know, got all these fancy adjustments and stuff. It's really comfy. And if you... Uh, you're feeling skinny, you can use this belt buckle. And if you're feeling fat, get a little bit more slack with this one after dinner, you know? Door pockets are pretty good. Uh, the seats are kinda, they're that like tweedish material that kinda always looks dingy, but they should clean up pretty nice. Uh, I really didn't wanna take the entire interior out of this car, but we might end up doing so to clean it. Not gut in the car. It's way too nice for that. So, under the hood, what do we got? Well, she's a bit crunchy and crispy, and filthy. Got a cool, probably older than me, uh, purple HKS timing belt. Uh, maybe blown, maybe just normal uh, side motor mount. Some, uh, it looks like maybe tack wiring. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we got this catch can that's not hooked up. Yep. But, got power steering down there. You got AC, takes this cool route over the, uh, the distributor and directly next to the header. And we've got this, uh, I don't know. I thought it was a DCOE, maybe it's a Delorto. I don't know. Uh, but we got a crab rotator, fuel filter, second fuel pump. Some crazy fuel or uh, coolant system stuff going on over, well, everywhere. Uh, big radiator, single fan, and um, these guys from the county just came through cutting the grass all rude like. They didn't see that I was out here talking. So, anywho, um, I don't even know what to say about this thing. It, uh, it's a five speed swap. Um, it's got stuff and just you know things uh it's well the the manifold extractor it's been lobbed off on the end to fit the 4ag that works that's basically how my 20 valve header is uh i don't know what distributor this is um it's all you know grooved belts so that should have been fairly simple for retaining the the belt drive to go to the 4ag which none of that even goes to the head i don't even know what am i even talking about this battery is ugly so there i think we got some opportunities in here with uh cleaning maybe uh conceal some of this wiring you know tuck away some of the fuel lines and water lines and stuff like that obviously keep it simple uh maybe move the battery or go to a smaller battery um and, you know, 
hit up the homie Ashton at the flower shop and get some powder coated valve covers done. And you know, with some cleaning, some gaskets and some love and infection. And uh, I think with some, some cool wheels, this ride height's not that bad. Maybe a little lower in the rear, but it's actually freaking slammed. Um, you know, some cool wheels, maybe a front lip or something. I, I don't know. This could be a neat little cruiser. So you tell me, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to try to get some details on the 4A F2GE uh, head swap conversion setup that's in this car. Uh, I won't have time to put them in this video, but I'm going to add them to the uh, description of the video. So uh, if you've got blown head gasket 4A FE or F car sitting around or you think, God, that's so dumb. I want it. Uh, maybe you can re 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 uh, recreate this little 4A FGE setup. Uh, it seems pretty peppy. Um, pedals are wonky. The front wheel drive shifter feels silly and stuff. So I haven't really beat on it or anything. But, you know, it feels quite uh, neat from about 3,000 to 6,000. And uh, I like it. So, um, what are your thoughts? Tell me about it. Front wheel drive. Ew. See you guys.